So Mac and Windows, you've got both, or you're running both, or you're in a company and you're using both, or you're at home and you've got a friend or whatever it may be, and you wanna know how to share files between the two. We're covering my five recommended ways to be able to share files between both of these operating systems. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Emilio. I work in tech and I absolutely love it. And I also release videos every single week around all things tech. So do remember to subscribe, click on the button on the bell so you don't miss any of my video releases. Hey, why don't you comment below whether you are a Mac or a Windows person. I mean, there's such battles raging between the Mac or the Windows. And yes, you're watching this to understand how to transfer files between them. But are you on a Windows? Are you on the Mac? Do you like, do you dislike one or the other? Let me know below. Number one is USB drives. Most common way that people exchange data between friends, between family, between work colleagues is via USB sticks. They just copy data to one USB stick and they give it to your friend or your colleague and they just then download the data back onto their computer. Now on the Mac and on the Windows, the file formats are slightly different. When you have a hard drive that's been created on a Mac, sometimes it's gonna be formatted in a Mac only version. And the same thing on Windows, you've maybe formatted a hard drive in NTFS and then you can't actually write to it on a Mac computer. So what I generally recommend is get yourself a USB hard drive and format it in either FAT32 or XFAT and that will actually work quite well between the two. So format the hard drive, plug it into your Mac, plug it into your Windows computer, exchange files between the two, very, very easy. Number two is email. Yes, you can easily just email a file from one person to the other. Somebody's on a Mac, they open up their browser, they log into Gmail, they open up their Outlook, whatever it may be, and they just attach some files to it and they send it to somebody who's on a Windows computer and they can open it up and have access to it and that's super easy. Of course, the only thing with email is that you're limited by the file sizes and certain file attachment types can't be shared over emails. Hey, exchange files via email makes it very, very easy between the two. Number three is cloud storage. Now, a lot of places use the cloud in some way or the other. The cloud is Dropbox, Google Drive, these are the cloud. If you're in a company using something like SharePoint, any of these, these are considered the cloud. So when you have Dropbox, you can upload some stuff to a Dropbox account that's sitting in a Dropbox cloud environment somewhere out in cyberspace. Then you can share those files with somebody on a different platform computer. If you've actually got both computers on the same network, you let's say you've got a Mac computer and a Windows computer could be at home. It could be in a workspace, but if they're both connected to the same network, then you can actually set up file sharing between the two. You can do SMB file sharing. You can do NFS file sharing. You can actually share files over the network. So on Windows, you can open up Windows Explorer, and then within Windows Explorer, in the network area, you could click on that, the Mac shows up right there. On the Mac, you could open up the Finder, and hey, look, there is my Windows computer listed in there. Now it may not happen natively like this. Like it's not, it may not just work. You have to generally go into the network settings on either the Mac or on the Windows side and enable sharing on specific files and folders on each of these computers. So on the Mac, you have to go into the place where you do sharing of the files and actually say, I want this folder to be able to be shared then on Windows, you open up Windows and there it is on the network, or you can click on the start menu and go run and then type in backslash backslash and then put in the IP address or the name of the Mac computer and share files that way. But once it's set up, once it's configured properly, this is the quickest and the fastest way to be able to share files between the two. Hey, so before we do get into number five, if you haven't subscribed already, please do remember to subscribe, click on the button on the bell, release videos all the time. So you wanna make sure that you don't miss out on any of those, so click on that button. All right, number five is FTP. FTP or SFTP, essentially a protocol allowing you to transfer files between one computer to another. You'd have one computer acting as a FTP server to the other FTP computer, and then you establish a connection, and then you can do uploads and downloads between them as often as you like. Hey, why don't you let me know in the comments below if there are other ways to be able to exchange files between the two. Maybe let me know if you're a Mac or a Windows person and uh, subscribe, clicking on the button on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my video releases. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.